with all the stuff. It's too much to do. Okay. Happy Sunday. Ginger Snaps made an appearance. She was cutting up last night. I don't know what the hell was wrong with her. So I had to have a good little talk with Ginger Snaps to behave herself today. But she is here and uh, you know, we we on straight. We, we good here. Okay. <laughs> Hello to everybody here in the chat. Daria, Roshonda, Queen, Greta, Kendall. Hello. Uh, Matthew. Hey, you know something, Matthew? I'm going to I'm going to have, have a, a, a talk with that, this old Candy. She started this old Inga Binga stuff, and then she got everybody saying that they're going to think. Okay? I, I'm going to have to have a conversation with her. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me uh, bring up some friends so um, I can, you know, hey, Tamika, hope you're enjoying your vacation, girl. Um, let me bring up some friends so that we can get started with this craziness of this show. Okay. All right. So, hey, Miss Kira. Hey, How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Good. Happy yeah. Sunday. Yes. Yeah, same to you. Happy Sunday. Hey, Candy. Hey, How you Queen doing? Yeah, see, I, yeah, I'm a, girl, I'm about to have a conversation with you. You just started that, 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 and then you got, now you got the people in the chat saying, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Kira. Aries. Oh, hey, what's hey. up, Inga Binga? Hey. See, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> be your cash app name or something. Yeah, you know something? You know something? I might have to create some daggone t-shirts and sell the t-shirts or something. There you, you know what I'm Mer- saying? merch is on the way. I may have to have a merch page. You ain't never lying. Inga you know, and then, Binga. That's right. And then, you know, I got my my number one homegirl, Moochie. Moochie. And is, she, is she here? She, hey. Oh, she'll jump in. Oh, wait, wait, let me see. She'll... It's him oh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, he okay. It was on the mute What's thing. Up, yeah, hey. What's how up? you doing? Oh, all right. Yeah, hey, Lemon Kush, Monique Johnson. Hey, mm-hmm. hey, hey, Derry. Got everybody up in here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we got a little party going. We just ain't got no drinks and no hors d'oeuvres, you know. Ooh, right. No, <laughs> no appetizers. That's right. Yeah. Oh, let me turn my phone. Put my phone on silent here so it don't ring. Okay, y'all, this has been a crazy show, uh, a mini series. Oh, <laughs> I was talking to Moochie about it yesterday. We this thing is crazy. Um, a friend of the family, mini series on Peacock. Mm-mm-mm. And if, um, if anybody hadn't seen it. Just take the time to go see it and even watch the documentaries. This is a documentary on Peacock yes. and it's one on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. This story is so crazy. 
I, I when I first saw it, just scroll. I'm at, I'm sitting here working. I'm scrolling through the Peacock thing, the app, and I text Candy. Have you seen this thing or have you heard about this thing? And I didn't know it came out in 2022. I just thought it, I thought it was new, you know, something brand new. But um, I said, Candy, oh, I said, oh, we're gonna have to talk about this thing. <laughs> and I could not stop uh watching. That was like supposed to be working, and I'm all into my my screen like that, my um, <laughs> iPad like this. I could not um stop watching it. It, it just yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. I said, this this cannot. I said, this, I don't believe. I said, this can't be real. But it's documentaries it out is. there. There's a whole lot of um. I started going and deep dive and going into a rabbit, rabbit hole. hole. I started going in, yep. Yeah, and I mm -hmm. found out you know the whole case and the whole thing. I just couldn't believe that this would happen. She but then as I was me, as me and Candy was talking one day on the phone, it was like, you know, it's a lot of people out here, the sick people and a lot of cults. Mm -hmm. So it could happen probably to anybody. Cool. I just I'm just trying to put you myself. What could I could it happen to me and my family? And I don't know that my family, I just don't see it happening, but I don't know. They were Mormons too, though. Mormons are a little different. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 But what I was tripping off of y'all. Too much yeah. Oh, but, too nice. Yeah, yes, yeah. Go ahead, Aries. I was saying, like, oh, I was thinking nice. too, like, okay, they're Mormon, they are sheltered and naive, but it seemed like everybody but this family was on to uh Mr. B, you know, because they said they had a whole school assembly about it and like every the cops was looking at them like they was crazy. So it was this family in particular that was just like a little on the touch side. Uh, and the whole time that I was watching it, I was like, man, this just should be named Ain't No Way. Because everything happening got me saying, Ain't no way. <laughs> okay. And I kept saying, and I know I kept saying, oh, this wouldn't happen no black folk. But then I had to change my, I had to change it that happens. statement because yeah. I said, you know, black people go through cults and go through crazy stuff too. But this was, this was just unreal, you know. And I know every day, unfortunately, in a, in a real serious thing, um, people get t snatched up, you know, predators out there of all races, mm -hmm. all everybody. So I know, you know, I'm not, tr I don't want to make light of the real thing because it was sick. But I don't, but I gotta kind of make fun of it because it's just so crazy. Mm. I have to keep them crying. Yeah, yeah, it's just unreal. It's unreal. And oh my god, yeah, I wanted to strangle every. Yeah, you, you know how you know how I always talk about want to throw somebody in the furnace. I wanted Ooh. to throw the mom and the daddy in the Whole furnace, family. even though they're Man. victims. But I wanted to throw the, even though they're victims, I still wanted to throw the mom and daddy in the furnace because I, I just felt like. like they could still, go, yeah, go yeah. I, I mean, but <laughs> that would be wrong. Hey, Brillo, that no, would be wrong do it, if, if I do it because no. people might say, "Oh, but well, they was really victims." I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do no video throwing them in the furnace. But they, no, um, they need to go because they, 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 they contributed to the to the problem too. The daddy first, time. yeah, big and the time. mom, big yeah, time. Daddy was first. Yes. The daddy and yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Brillo. Even though this is a real true story and these people were victims, but yes. they were so dumb, naive. It's it just almost like, almost, it's almost like, what, what's going on here? You know, it's like, where did, and it's a shame that this going on right now. While we sitting here running our mouth, some crazy stuff like this going on in the world in some state, in yes. some city, some town right now. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. Um, somebody plotting on somebody. Right, right, right. Let me see what mm -hmm. I got here. So it's called um, a friend of the family, and um, these are the act. The, the 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 daddy is played by um, Colin. Uh, um, hey, I just Hanks. had his name. Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks' Hanks. son. Mm -hmm. Tom Hanks' son. Yeah, his name is Colin. He did a phenomenal job. I've seen him yes. acting other things, so I know he's a great actor. He looks just like his daddy too, mm -hmm. and. Um, he did a phenomenal job. He really did. And um, this, oh, it, this was just sick. And you just don't never know who you have in your, uh, who you bring. You got to be careful who you bring around your children. Yeah. You know? Right. This is a, this he was is like a master really manipulator. Yeah. Right. 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 He groomed right. the kids he and the mastermind. <laughs> this whole thing was playing. Like two he years. Was yeah. 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 Very, parents and the kids. Very, particular 
and meticulous about everything he did. He planned everything out to a T. And yeah. <sighs> right, it was right. crazy. And that wife right. of his, she needs to go in the furnace too. We can go ahead and, and throw oh, away. Oh no, there. she in the furnace. Yeah, this, is, this is the real, already. this is the real, this is the real life lady, and this is her story. Her name is Jan, and this is the um, this this is a documentary too on Peacock. And this is the this is the real life lady about her. I just wanted to get a picture of her up there. I, I have some pictures of both the real people and the, um the, the characters because uh just so we can compare them too. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't get a whole lot because it's nine episodes, and you know, I didn't want to have we'd be sitting up here with a thousand slides. So I just kind of <laughs> got like a little bit at the beginning, just like a synopsis, and then we can kind of yeah. just run with it after that. Um, so this is uh, her, and so I just said this. This is the story for anybody who had not seen it. It's a drama uh, uh, about pedophilia, kidnapping, and grooming. And definitely it's grooming. All yes. of it. It's just a whole thing. I mean, I agree with this. Um, so it, st it started in the 70s. She was, Jan was 12 years old. She was groomed, kidnapped, abused by this neighbor who lived like down the street, across the street, whatever, around the corner. His name was B. Um, Bir Birch Toll in, in a small town in Idaho. Um, and I said, Oh, I mean, so Jan was kidnapped, and she was not kidnapped just once, but twice, y'all. Twice the sec by the second time, she really was, she really was not far Messed gone. By the yep. Yeah, I mean, Brain she actually was. left on her own. Huh. Yeah, she yeah. ran away on her own by that second time. And, um, you know, the parents was named Bob and Marianne, and they both had sexual relations with this man. Ooh. The mama and the daddy, Brillo. The daddy, too. I just really want Brillo to the, check this out. He gonna the, daddy, the daddy yes. reached over in the car and gave him a Ooh, job. Lord. Okay? With the left I mean, hand. Oh, I mean, with a hand job. A hand job. Yeah. Yes. Not, the, not the mouth yes. game. With the hand job. Either way, yeah. it still was gross and bad all the way around. The whole thing was terrible. Yeah. And How did he I make that man do that? that? Hey. <laughs> I've been oh, like, sir, you can you can do this all by yourself. The fact that the daddy sped up with that thing, yeah, I was right. like, oh, uh, 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 when he started moaning, I said, no, it's time to yes. stop, Mister Burst. Told this stop. Daddy this was not yeah. Yeah. They, and they, 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 they used this to blackmail this man to blackmail yeah. the family. Yeah. They did. He knew what he was doing. This whole thing was a mastermind. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mucci, you still there? Yeah, he planned oh. to isolate that girl. Yeah, I wanted to hear what Mucci said. Go ahead. I said he planned to isolate that girl from the beginning, from the moment he met them. And I'm thinking they 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 just remember they just moved to that town. Yes. That's why he was able to get he was like on them like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So and this like, is this the real life guy. This is the real life creep and the little girl Jan. And this is what you know. And look at, I mean, now you would think this is probably just looking at it, not paying no attention. You probably saw all oh, this. Oh, they at the beach or on the lake at the boat, whatever. And you probably didn't think nothing of it, but all along he but he knew what he was doing. This old creep, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, like you see how he was calling you, her out when he was trying to sing Inga, like, Oh, what's that you're singing, Jan? Like, why you got a whole nickname? How did he, he singled Golly. her out, but not none yeah. of the other kids? I wonder right. why the other, yep. the other mm -hmm. girls he didn't single them out. He didn't he yeah. singled her out. It was just her. Yeah. He didn't yep. even and spend he was time always living on the mama. mama. I, I felt like the parents should have said something from there. That seems weird, right? Going out her and all of this, it, it was just weird to me. Yeah, yeah. And how are you doing stuff for her and not your own kids? I'm like, and look, yes. and look, it said he yes. would he would take he would take Jan and her younger sisters, Karen and Susan, to school. He would even um they would even sleep over. Mm -hmm. He was like a second dad to them, and you're right. They was Mormons, Church of Jesus Christ, Latter Day Saints. So Latter -day Saints. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get into the religious thing because that's a whole nother conversation, and yeah. we try to get all our pages taken down. So, um, I ain't even gonna get into that conversation. That's, that's, that's all right. Deep. They got plenty of the documentaries on that. They got yes, they got plenty of it. And um, okay, uh, this is also the real life family. So this is uh, Bob, and that's Mary Ann. And this is uh, Jan up in the uh, top up here in the left hand. That's my left hand side. And there's Karen. And I forgot which one is Karen and Susan. But this is the real family. And um, I don't know. So now this is the TV family. And Jan is there in the middle. And uh, it was just, you know, and this is it's a mess. So I just wanted to do the comparison side by side. 
this is how it looked. And it's like, see, in the, you know, you would think it's not that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a, um, a friend, a friend who comes family. over. And yeah, a friend of the family. Everybody got a fam, friends of the family mm-hmm. who, come, who come over and they... They, you grew up with them, you you barbecue with them, go to vacations, you friends with the kid, that that other person's kid. I would have, you know, so you it's my because my yeah, father, mother and father be. used to have friend, friends all the time, and I would play with their kids all the time. It was a normal right. thing. Right. So, um I think that's why the, the neighborhood, I think that's why everybody in the neighborhood didn't think nothing about it. They didn't they yeah. thought that these people were remember that everybody in the neighborhood and the church turned on these people. Right. How could you how could you do this to him? How could you they thought that they was wrong, you know? Yeah. And well, they um, were wrong because they told him their business. I would have never told a pastor and the board what I right. what I did in you know what happened to my child. But I mean, you're part of the reason why it happened because you let you allowed this man to manipulate you with your child. Hood trauma, or not your trauma, but something that happened to you in your childhood. Yeah. You told him a story and he used it against you within the next 10 minutes. Like he did that repeatedly to them, yes. to the mother. And you know, they let it, they let it happen. That's all I That's can right. say. And they look at this, at 12 years old, she's sleeping in the bed, 30 years her senior. Yeah. And this is, she hadn't even, had even disappeared yet at the time. And he, she's sleeping, on, sleeping in the bed. They talking about that was his therapy. Yeah, talking about he was on top of the covers. I don't care. And you know what was making me so mad, y'all, is um when everybody was putting the blame on the what was the what was Jan them last name? I forgot the Bergen. Oh, uh, um, damn, well, I just I just had it too. Uh, okay, no. Oh, Broberg. Bro, yeah. Broberg. Yeah, Broberg. He was Broberg. Why are you putting everything on them? Like, why would you guys allow them if you knew that he had this type of diagnosis? Like, no, he needs to take some. And what about the wife? Because the wife said right. the same oh, thing. Right. Here she go. They go oh, get the They go get She, she was it. in on it, too. I, yeah. she the, I, think she, I think he groomed her at a young age. He did. I, mm-hmm. so too. Yeah, I, was, I think he I groomed her too. and kept getting her yeah. pregnant. She, all them, she had about five kids with him. Yeah, yeah, she um, I could, I was trying to find pictures of the real life woman, but I couldn't find her face. But if I was in her, her I'd be in hiding because I would never, show right? My that's face. probably why you couldn't change my it. name, yeah, yeah, change my Ooh. name and everything. And, and the poor children, he had he was never spending time with his he own was kids. So cold to nope. them kids, he never was, yeah, he was cold mm-hmm. to his boys, he was not, and he had a little baby girl, but the boys, he never spent time with them, Mm-mm. he never spent time with them. I mean, yeah, she Telling was a wife, he was ugly, yeah. He might as well get, told get, uh, get Marianne to show you how to be sexy <laughs> and dress yeah, how to dress. That to me. And then he's gonna tell the husband your wife her legs. She got some nice legs. What? Right. No. Yeah, Why I mean Bob, Bob uh <laughs> Broberg, he he looked he kind of took back a little bit, but then he didn't do nothing about it. He just said, Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I guess she do have nice legs. He he was like, huh, at first, the, but right. I don't know. Yeah, you need to be changed. <laughs> Is it me or and it now I know why didn't like David from the apples never fall because it was Mochi him. told me it that was him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Same guy, but I was gonna say, is it me or do you think they was too passive with a lot of things? Very passive. No, it ain't just you. Yeah. They were very passive. Crossed the line a lot to me. Where like, nah, you wouldn't be doing this with my daughter. No. Mm-hmm. This is the daddy did try when that first horseback incident came up. Like the daddy was trying to put his foot down, but yeah, he okay. drove a wedge by yeah, getting okay. in good with the wife. Yeah, that's a, that's the real biscuit. that's the real Bob on that side. Yeah, and it's, oh, yeah, um, yeah, I do got um, yeah, something. Here. Okay, mm. so this is when they first because when it first started, it started when it first started. started yeah, like I got So this is when they right. first met on this episode one. They first met and um. They walked down the street like the Brady Bunch. They was all together, go down to their house. It was very innocent. It's like you're going to meet some some friends and have, you know, and um, they sit in their church and they were spending. Di- so this was all like over time, probably a y- months, years. This is, so, you know, they're hanging out, yeah, it was pen- years. having lunch together. Yeah, it was they like was- two years before everything began. Yes, he was yeah. grooming them for a while. All of this was building mm-hmm. up. Um, look, he taking her to get ice cream cones and he brought her to her his job and she hanging out. And she thought that she said this was my best friend. 
She said yeah. her dad doesn't know, don't don't do you're things. Not supposed for her. to have no adult best friends as a child. Okay, right. And I know this was this, and this was the early seventies. I think it said mm -hmm. it was like nineteen seventy four. I told Candy, I said I'm probably about four years old, so I wouldn't have known none of this kind of stuff was going on. Nope. <laughs> you know. So no, you're not supposed to have no adult best friend like that. Not only cable was 1974, it still was creepy. I don't think my parents right. would ever allow that. Not sleeping yeah. over no man, no nobody's house. If I'm gonna sleep over the house, we with the children like a sleepover. Right. Yeah. He was, she was with, with the kids man. though. They like all slept together on a trampoline with his kids, and, and she was there too. But, but he, he was out there too. Her. But that was his way of working it in. We have right. where seat normal. That and he was, would give her those allergies. You don't know nope. what's happening. <laughs> oh man, it was it was and see right yeah, here. This one, this one Bob started. You see how he peeking over because he he came in because they were both of them named Bob, so they actually called the other one B. So when B, B came mm -hmm. in with Jan, the wife jumps up, Mary Ann hugs him, and by this time Bob, it just was like probably a year or two or whatever had passed. So he mm -hmm. was getting irritated that he was spending so much time with his family. And mm -hmm. he was he was starting to try to put his foot down, but Marianne would kept letting this this guy come around, you know. Mm -hmm. And then but, he was like, "Oh no, we." He said, "I wanted to take her." Um, uh, it was after this scene. He said, "I wanted to take her a horseback ride," and he said, "No, we are gonna do a puzzle tonight. We are gonna all <laughs> stay together as a family and do a puzzle." I fell out laughing when they said the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you remember when he changed that tire for them oh, yeah. and? Yes. Marianne came out with the drink. She gave Mr. B the drink with a smile first, and then she gave it to her husband. No, yeah. ma'am. Mm. That was not right. You know, that's, no. I was like, red flag. No, ma'am. Right. You too happy to see this little raggedy behind man. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. Your might he, be bald he, was his face. he was starting to get irritated by this time. That's you know. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. yeah. the man, he yeah. felt that he was coming over too much. He was spending too much time. And he was like, look, I'm the... And he told Marianne, I'm the... um." How can I how can I be the, the, the lead of this house if you keep you know doing things behind my back? Yeah, you know? he was so soft right here. Like he was, he was too yeah. soft. He was, he was look, they were soft he all the way for a long place. time. They were soft. Yeah. He should have took her in the car and gave her a good Yes, Marianne worked my damn nurse too. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it was just a mess, and and here he was. Uh, he had already sold his um his furniture store, and he was heading to the bank. Um, he well, he came home to get some stuff, and and she, uh, Gail was like, "Well, what are you doing home?" She feeding the baby because he don't come home probably in the middle of the day, and mm -hmm. then he made a quick little sandwich. He goes and throws some clothes because he knew he was gonna kidnap. At this yes. point, this was the plan. This was business. Everything was all built up now. He said, okay, this is a good time. I'm a this is when I'm gonna grab grab her at this point. So he sold and his working business. on that RV too. He got he mm -hmm. went to the bank, he cast a check for what was it, twenty seven thousand two hundred eight dollars and forty three cents. That business must not have been worth all that much for twenty seven thousand. Like I said, I was the last thing, but that was nineteen seventy four. So like it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a lot of money at that time. Yeah, because even yeah, the guy at the bank said, "Wow, you know, he probably got the first offer that he got. That he probably took the first offer they gave him. Yeah, yeah. but it still was a lot of money if somebody gave you twenty thousand dollars in nineteen seventy four. That was a lot of money. So yeah. you know, you you probably was kind of well off, you know, for that time. Um, yeah. but. And look how he whispering in Marianne um ear. This was like through the through the window. Um, mm -hmm. He was whispering through her ear. And see, this when Bob came home, and he looked around and he saw his other girls, but he ain't see Jane. And he had already told B, uh, no, no yeah. she cannot go a uh, horseback riding. We're gonna have dinner and spend together the family, do the puzzle. Marianne caved in because she didn't got a little. He probably didn't whisper in her ear that he, he probably rubbed her booty. Right, yeah, he, and and see, they he hadn't had they hadn't had sex at the time, but he was telling no. her all the stuff that Wait, he wanted, and she was probably getting hot and heavy, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we couldn't know her. We couldn't see it, but I'm sure he was. Bob we just, we, came home with a new trick. Mm. He was oh, there, right. Okay? That, mm. and, and look, she now she know where he learning it from, just because mm -hmm. of his actions. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. When That's right, yeah. Because when he went downtown to her, he had never did that yeah. before. Yeah, mm -hmm. the face in the face. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> he was facing the face. Oh, she all was their personal business. She was yeah. 
Yeah. But that was the manipulation part, like telling a personal yes. bedroom business, like. I mean, in a regular relationship, that probably would be okay if y'all, you know, talk about certain things. But this was like a manipulation tactic from. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like he put the wife up to ask party. her question, and then have the wife run it back. Yeah. Yeah. Be yes. Yes. And then so he takes. It was he, crazy. He did so he he picked Jane up from the um piano lesson, took her in the car. She thinking this. She thinks she going horseback riding. He gave her some. Like some Benadryl or something will knock her out, mm -hmm. and um, so she yeah. pills. But she think it was allergy pills, and she taking them, and she knocked out. And when she woke up in this minivan or this um Winnebago, RV. Mm -hmm. the RV, she um she was strapped to the to the bed, her feet and her hands, and and it's just recording female companion, female female companion. companion. That's right. Like, 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 and that's why she thought aliens was there because he told her mm -hmm. uh, there's some I forgot what the names was. Now I didn't even write it down, but Zeta uh, and Zeta, Zeta something. and something Zeta yeah. and Zethra or something like yeah. that. that. That's what it was. Zethra, yeah. yeah. And but he planted that seed early on, though. Yeah, about yes. that. Early on that when first the phone night. was saying, "I wish you would stop obsessing over these yep. over these UFOs." Yes. Yep. Yeah, because I, actually, he met her when she was like eight, so it's been going on yep. for a long time. But mm -hmm. he planted that early on. He, but Jan ass knows it because she wouldn't have never heard that story had she been in that room practicing that song like she's supposed to be. But she right. come out of the room listening. You know, yeah. she always ear hustling. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah he was like um, Jan did you ever hear anything like that when he first told that first story mm -hmm. he was like yeah I'm about to use it on you yep I'm about to use it now mm -hmm. that and was he crazy kept, she, boy he he took her away and then took her all the way to Mexico and um and he tried to he stole well I, okay I, I think I missed a part he um stole the um the birth certificate right yeah yeah so he mm -hmm. could get a marriage license and marry her right and up. Uh, I mean, this ooh, this thing was just it, it just got it just kept going on and on and on. Um, I I ain't I ain't really getting no more slides past that because it was because it's just a lot to keep getting a whole bunch of slides, but it was um when he got to Mexico and he was down there. How long did y'all think he was in Mexico with her? It, they were gone Probably about six like weeks, a, right? He was, I, I was gonna say like months. a month, it seemed like two okay. months. Yeah, I think it took months. I, yeah, I, I they had been going like 37 days or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first time yeah, they was going like 37 or 38 days. Ooh, ain't no way, y'all. Mm -mm. Yeah. Oh. Ain't no way. Yeah. Just do, do I that wife would have been, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I would have had to do You know something. <laughs> you heard me? Yeah. You know What'd you say, Mucci? Uh, I said he thought he was the six million dollar man. Okay, yeah. he, 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 he was trying to pass himself off as to this little girl. Oh, and she he told her that if she don't have a baby and all this little kind of stuff, that get her married. sister was gonna go blind and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the dog oh, and, that the, and, and don't touch your real father, don't yep. touch him, like he, don't, don't be in his friend, don't be along with him. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get vaporized, vaporized, <laughs> and just, with the little sister Susan gonna go blind and all this all kind of stuff. It was, um, it was. On I don't and know on. how she believed that for so long, though. I think she was like right. nine or ten. But my, by the time we got to thirteen, my thirteen year old would be like, "Yeah, absolutely not, sir." Sally, like, yes, you, know, right. you know, the a story lot of them don't watch TV, you know. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she got true. the TV. Sally, this told. is the real family right here. This is the real people. It's Remember when he gave home. her the little TV? Yeah, he did. That's when everything. That's changed. the second time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it just uh, okay. When the story she, changed. The older she got, the story changed because. Go ahead. Oh no! Go ahead. Say, as the older she got, the story changed. Is she what? What you was gonna say? Yeah, the story changed about what was gonna happen to the baby sister. Like if Jane couldn't do it, the sister would do it. Right. And but her body couldn't take it because she was so young, she would die. She couldn't carry a kid. Like he made it worse the older she got. Like he didn't have yeah. you know anything with her until she was what 16, maybe. But he planted that seed in her head the entire time and it got worse. Things, you know, things changed as far as you know the time because. When times change, things change. The story yeah. changed. It got worse. And you, you know something? The, the only 
the one person who knew it was yeah. wrong, but he didn't really do nothing about it. So that's that's the brother. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, B's, B's brother. He knew it was wrong, but he didn't want to get involved, you know. Right. And then mama was crazy. She said, oh, isn't this a cute little girl? And this by this time, Jane is probably 14 or something at this point. And, yeah. and she, it, the, the mother should have been like, well, who's this child? Where she Who's child from? is this? She parent? didn't have no question. The mother mm -hmm. was just dizzy. The, his, you know, his mother. I'm glad we didn't really get to see much of her because she was dizzy. And that's the second time she ran away. That was the second well, he time. Took her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was the second well, he time. Already had, uh, had slept with the mother at that time. Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all. She he slept with the mother. The mother went over to the um to the Winnebago RV thing, and they slept together. Oh, and when she told her husband, she was going to meet him on the regular. Though. Right? Yeah, she was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was bringing him sandwiches and all. Right. Kinds yeah. Of I I don't know how you could do that after you snatch my child up. I don't have no Ooh. interest in you physically at all. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. They that girl and that man, that blick that man gave her, she should have used it when she first saw him on site. I found uh, my daughter later, but she got to go. We'll get her back, but she got to go. Showed up with the piece. I thought she was gonna go in a person and, and, and shoot him. Because that but see, later on, she she was ready to her and the husband finally. It took a long time. I don't think it, we got into like it was late into the episode was, before she before right. the father mother really started. Episode like working eight. with the FBI and really doing but something. She kept leaving, like she kept doing stuff to leave. Like she was just, she just kept leaving. Like he kept putting those speaker boxes in her room with all these new recordings, and it was, with everything was going to yeah. doing all kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, when he come, when they came in the house, when that window was open and they found out, like, oh, it's cold in here because this window was left open. That moment, I feel like they should have been like, Jan, where are you? We got to, like, girls, I want y'all to sit right here in the living room while we go and, and inspect the house and clear the house because Jan shouldn't have been, like, with her already being snatched and back home. Like, I was just so upset with them that they didn't try to go in and further investigate. Like, they mm -hmm. had a lot of evidence in there. All them letters was in that trunk. Like, no, girl, you're not hey, closing Lita. the door. We tearing this wall back down. Yeah. And we about to go through this stuff. Yeah, Inga, tell them about that. I think they didn't let this man, Bob, come in there and build and a, build whole, a wall. whole wall. Yeah. A whole wall. Yes. been in my room and, on yeah. the floor. Build a whole, yeah, um, because so she can have her own privacy and she have her own room and she blocked and boxed her out from her sister. And the sister was very sad about that. Yeah, yeah. You know. I, I, I don't understand. This is when I was saying these parents are stupid mm -hmm. because ain't no way in her I would have let him be doing all of this stuff. Yeah, this was after she disappeared the first time in the ne furnace, right? <laughs> Need it's go. okay. You did need it's okay. You didn't watch it. You might not even want to watch this because it is a story mm -hmm. about kidnapping, pedophilia, mm -hmm. grooming. This yeah, is it's, it's a sick story. And so mm -hmm. you might not want to see it anyway. So, but thank you for supporting us. We appreciate you. Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not for everybody because it's a sick story. And especially mm -hmm. if people um got, you know, had dealt with any kind of trauma, they might not want to even touch yeah. this story. But it's it's mm -hmm. it's wow. Um uh oof, yeah, it, he, he this guy, yeah, he built the um they just let they let him too much in their space all the time. Oh, yes. All the time. They just let him too much into their space. And then but in the night in 1974, the FBI hadn't even heard of the pedophilia. You know, yeah, right. they had it was still a new thing. This was all yeah, they didn't really know how to handle it, but they knew it still was wrong. Um his yeah. doctor had to come in and explain to them, like, okay, do y'all know about this dude? Like, I'm his no, parents. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I understand a lot of things was um, you know, that it's we know so much more now, but in mm -hmm. the 60s, 70s, they didn't know nothing about this stuff. And you um know. you know, so I wanna how the heck did she let him get to this birth certificate? It was no reason for him to see those papers. No he walked reason. back in the room with her. He took yeah, for she was like you said a couple minutes ago. First, she, first, she, yeah, she, I would have told my company, I would say, Oh, sit down, have a seat. I'm going back in the you're not following me really? back into my bedroom right. where the papers at. That's not yeah, your I'm business. Not I mean, like, that's crazy to me. Uh -uh. Yeah, because he wanted to I can't even remember what she went in there for. 
He does crazy he things. He was talking about he wanted to leave his kids in charge. I mean, he said if yeah. something happens, oh, the God parents. I want you guys to take him, take care of my mm-hmm. kids. And right. I will want you, you know, and I will do the same for you. But you don't need to see all of that. You know what? Right now, we'll make arrangements for that because I would want a lawyer and stuff present for something like that. And where's his wife? I'm just going to let you Yeah, but they were just too, I, I don't know if, I don't. Yeah, I just think it was just they were just too, and I don't they want to blame them, but that. it was the seventies. But I just think that it was them. I think it, it was, was just them. them. That's yeah, it was them. Because I can't, I can't imagine my father letting no neighbor come over all the time you, mm-hmm. and let me spend the night at their house all the time. It just mm-hmm. wouldn't happen. No. My my mother and father didn't even no, let me go I'd spend night at like, people's bye. houses like that. Yeah, right. Your friends to come over here, but you ain't going over there. Yeah, I had sleepovers in my house. My mother can control it. She can come over no I had yeah. sleepovers with a little girl, but yeah. I couldn't really go to people, nobody's house like that. They were like, You yeah. can go to the birthday party, but when they about to sleep over, I'll come pick you up and, and you right. come home. Yeah, I could yep. go to the party, but then when they, they about to get ready for bed, I'll come pick you up. They would not let they yeah. didn't usually let me spend the night at people's houses. And so I vice versa. That's what I said. I don't know if this would happen to a black family like this. Mm-mm. Not for this long. Maybe you might get me a little bit, but you ain't. This was years. This was yeah, no. years. At yeah. some point, yeah, yeah Jan should have snapped out of it. Yeah. It yeah. took so long. She actually hated her parents. Oh, that she hated her so man. It was so long for her to snap out of it. Like the Stockholm. She was yeah, calling her dad it was Bob. Stockholm Syndrome. It definitely was Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, he she was calling him Bob. Head, Bob. 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 He was like, really in her head. Oh, okay. Bob yeah. and Marianne. They still he kept calling the house. Like, is is your husband there? Oh, I know you got the recording right there. Oh, y'all, we got to talk about this. Thank you wife. for reminding me this. Wait. The church. The church was trash. Yeah. Yeah. The church Ooh. gonna excommunicate them. They couldn't take, they couldn't come to um, can't take communion, can't come. Why you blaming me? I'm the victim. Right. And they, no, they, they, they knew about this guy. Man. They knew this guy was a creep. No, yeah, they, they, it they was like, you told them what he did, his homosexual activity. Yes. That's right. what it was. That's why he got kicked out. And that's why the wife got kicked out because she told him she yeah, had sex for having an affair. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. 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 but I believe, I believe they yeah. knew about this man though. I, I think I they knew they 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 about him. The other Bob was gay too. So why he yeah. knew that? But he kept calling him though. He's like Bob is a homosexual, Marianne. I was like, B, really? go home so to your wife and kids. Ready? Right. right. And, and then he yeah. made the wife so anyway, it's you because you asked him to stroke it. See, this is what yeah. I would have had to come back. I'm yeah. sorry. For that. You asked him to stroke it from what I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My husband yeah. tell me oh. everything. Yeah. Right. No, he did. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. the, uh, he 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 did. He asked him to. Uh, he talked about this was some some kid stuff, some boy. And some, he, what, didn't he say? But just, didn't Bob just his his stuff, father yeah. say something about he had thoughts about this as a kid or something? Something. Yeah. Yeah. They, they were as a kid. They would watch friends. They would watch magazines as and look at magazines as a kid, and then they would touch each other. Just being children, we're just being little boys or whatever. No, like, that's not normal. That's not normal. Keep to yourself. Take the great. I don't know about. I don't know. In, that's uh, what my problem about was. Household. I don't. That's. I Who don't was think touching that's him? <laughs> and then ten <laughs> minutes later, he goes. I'm talking about touching each other. We all sitting hey, around y'all. in a circle touching. Each- no, come on. No, no, no. Not and that. And then he wife after that. He didn't even want to touch his wife after that. Right. After he did that, that man yeah. was traumatized. No, he was traumatized. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's yeah. why he had to end up going and confessing to the um to the bishop at the church. He really and all felt that. like he this guy was a uh, yeah. um he was somebody important in the, in the Mormon church, right? Yeah, the, he was uh, like an elder, hey. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Yeah, he was on the board of trustees. And then what about when Marianne, uh, okay, after Bob found out, the husband found out what she did, I mean, he, she told, she, and he was going to get divorced, and she went to go stay with her mother. The mother looked disgusted at her. Her own mother, when she went to her mama's house with her suitcase, her mother just stood on the porch mm-hmm. with her arms folded. Her mother looked disgusted at her. Did she know Bob even, was a good man, Savannah? <laughs> that's what the sister said. Well, you know, Bob was, Bob is a good said. man. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And you know what? In the Mm -hmm. documentary, the mom said that after she slept with B, that she felt like a B.I.T. 
she was oh like, yeah the mother the mother really the mother said she felt she beat herself so up horrible. Yeah, she beat she herself up real bad yeah mm-hmm. yeah she beat herself she should have. right yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean i almost wanted to feel sorry for the mother when once i watched the documentary i'm listening yeah. to the real part i almost wanted to feel sorry for her, but i'm like i'm still got like i still want to re- bring her neck i really did i still want to bring her yeah. neck. i was thankful though because at least the parents were apologetic because a lot of times like stuff like that happens and the parents ignore you or they don't believe you or they don't apologize mm-hmm. but at least they were like listening and understanding and apologizing so right mm-hmm. yeah one, one and, point and, and you're right b like i said earlier b's brother he knew what was yeah. going on but he kind of mm-hmm. didn't want to get involved not until the fbi came to him and yeah. he handled choice you know can somebody tell me why he put her in that school yeah how did that come about I, he, she had to I guess because he was school. in prison. He had, remember, he had her school like he's working for the His CIA daughter. and all of that. She still got to go to school. Yeah, yeah, but and, and I, but I, that I was think in California, did, right? Yeah, because if he yes. gets caught, if they get caught together in that state, he he was like, "I'm going straight to jail, so we have to do it this way." That's yeah, why they, he was yeah, the lie. Yeah, that's why he had it in the convict and all of that. And, and I think that um, that her roommate, that yeah. little that little Asian girl, she knew someone mm-hmm. right there. She, she, I can tell. Mm-hmm. Why you like, your dad? Looking out the window. She looking out the. She looking out the blinds. She. <laughs> She was looking she to see what was going on. She room room. Room. Yeah, I think I think the little girl that that girl was know something was wrong was right. Too. And then came back from that car accident like, oh yeah, nothing happened. Like what? Your fa- yeah, mm-hmm. but you got a whole gash in your forehead, in, but nothing okay. happened. Okay. You know? mm. so oh, she was biting her toenails. Lord, was. thank you, Candy. Well, because that was she so was so mad. It was talking to a boy. Who bites uh-huh. their toenails with their mouth? Because he thought he was right. control. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, because she was Touching biting her, her fingernails down. She had no more fingernails left, so she started picking her foot up, putting mm-hmm. it in her mouth, and chewing on it like she was chewing on a, p- a piece of chicken. Oh, I ooh. mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I just said, he messed her up so bad he did. that hey, I, I mean, he- she was chewing hard because you can hear because the sound effect they did good with the sound effect because it's almost like she was crunching on celery or something. She was crunch, crunch, crunch. and her and her roommate looked over at her like, What's I never going seen on? nobody do that before. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew yeah. was nasty, nasty, was nasty, 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 nasty. She didn't have yes. any more fingernails, she had to ate them down to the nose, she ate them like, down to the damn nose, not fingers the and toes. That baby and was crazy. but I think it was her, ner- she. She was just messed up. Like she was, she yeah. was stressed. She was stressed. And then if you, when the, if you watch it, if you watch the documentary, her son said she was messed up her whole life. She had four yeah, different marriages. Had, yes. Yeah, about yes. four different marriages. Men running in and out. I think she was just so screwed up. Yeah. You know, I don't think she's still together in her bright mind to this day. Really, be honest with you. Even though mm-hmm. she's an advocate and doing, you know, yeah. got a um, foundation and. And and supposed to be doing well, but I still think she's probably still a little messed up, you know, from that. <laughs> um, she has to have some sort of PTSD. I like Kendall Oh uh, Yeah. <laughs> well, matter of fact, no this, when, of she went, when she went to um, mm, when she <laughs> when she went to therapy, that was the real life Jan paying the therapist. In uh, mm-hmm. on the show. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't catch it till later, and then I found out it, it yeah. was her. Um, I said it but, looked like her because I had um saw a picture. Yeah, that yeah. Mm. So she was playing the best. So she probably she probably still in therapy while we sitting here talking right now. She's still talking in therapy. She should she, be. She need to be in therapy the rest of her. That's life. a lifelong and, trauma because he did that it's for lifelong years. Lifelong trauma. But yeah. it turns out if if people who hadn't seen this or gonna go watch the documentary, turns out this guy B was doing it to other girls. Mm-hmm. He had a whole another family too. He was doing it with. The yeah. girl that was working yeah. in the furniture store, I think it was her. Yep, and, and the nurse's daughter. That was one of them. The nurse's yep. daughter. It was lots of girls. Was showing a lot of yeah, yeah, like four or five. That's the one that, that, remember when he um burnt up the uh the florist? The his, his shop? He got his friends to do it? When yeah. Oh, yeah. In the Oh, Yeah. I she thought, was, see that it scared me at first, Moochie. I thought the dad was gone. I thought he was dying. I, I was like, oh, I, I thought the dad was gone. Yeah, they got me. I on thought that they one. was gonna come there and beat him up at first. Me too. 
And then yeah, he like, locked that door so fast. The whole storm fire. Yes, luckily right. he was able to get out because I thought he was in there. And um, and Jan still didn't seem like she had it, to, no, like she couldn't understand. Like she still, I was know. Was That's why I was hoping the daddy didn't. Her father, knowing that he made it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that was she didn't so even hard. care. She like yeah, she didn't she even was, care. She was dead. I mean, when they were questioning, her. um, when they were she questioning that other girl, what was her name? Haley, Callie, or something. Mm -hmm. And the mom and all the stuff that she was saying, and Jan's mom was standing out there listening, like, "Oh, he's my best friend." And she was like, "Oh, oh my god, man, this was me." Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know what I was going to sure. Do you think because how can I say this? <clears throat> Because she, I think I know where you're going she, with she this. She has to still have like dreams and stuff about this this thing because this was horrible. Yeah, I'm this sure to this day she still screams in her dreams. I wouldn't want to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, probably wake up hearing the alien voices. And I actually read a book, y'all, and it's called like The Body Keeps Count. And it says that for whatever traumatic experience that you go through in life your body takes three years to really forget that so just imagine oh if somebody like jan was going through this from the age of nine to 16 wow. like yes it's good and that on a regular basis like it could take a lifetime of healing to just be you know okay so i'm pretty That's sure true. she definitely is still in therapy and if not definitely still just dealing with ptsd mm -hmm. definitely yeah uh, yeah, I thought okay. about so, reading the yeah, book, he, but I was like, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can do the book after watching the, no, post the yeah, documentaries she, she and watching it. Like, the, the mama wrote a book. The mama wrote a book too. They wrote the book together. Yeah, they wrote it together. Yeah. Do you remember when she got taken out the room and she was like, "I'm not coming back in here"? No, like, no, you didn't know what happened, that means. You should have never let this man around your kid again, no matter and thank, what. And I, I want to get it. And, and, and thank it's, goodness for that FBI agent. He stayed, stayed on this coming case. To the house. I wouldn't right. even have any. That the wife was still coming to the house. It was crazy. I would have. Yeah. Mushi, I would have moved. I yeah. would have moved. I would have packed up my family. We would have sold that house. And we would have been out of that town and out of hope. We'd be somewhere yeah, else because everybody you was know? looking at the family anyway. So I would have just packed like they, said, well, they was treating the wrong. family like they was criminals, right? Because yeah. that's how much yeah. Bob had a hold did, on the whole community. He was there yeah, the whole they, because did did they make major he had mistakes? A lot of people in his yes, pocket, but they are still. Yeah, was was Do you remember? Didn't the nurse look odd when she came back? Like she was in cahoots with with them too. The way the nurse was like looking at first. Yeah, I, I think that nurse was. was because he was grooming a whole pregnant. bunch of people, right? He, had no, he, he, had, he must have that great time. gift yeah, of gab and yeah. really smooth people talk. He, he, um, yeah, he knew how to talk to smooth things over with people. Um, I, I don't mm -hmm. know, yeah. so, but you saw her um, in the ice cream shop later on, too. Look like the lady with the blue eyes, with the blue eyes, yep. He was just all over, yeah. The it's like yeah, she was in the ice cream shop later on. That place that that little to me, like it was like oh, the yes. David Buster's. <laughs> that that's the Fun. worst place for someone. Oh, and, like oh yeah. When, when, okay, remember when he went like to that? Um, have. they went to what was was it Wisconsin? Where did they go to? When it was that carnival, that little fair uh, somewhere? Uh, Jackson Hole. Okay, they when they when they when she went there with him, um, that's when she ran away and jumped on the airplane, right, on by mm -hmm. herself. Oh my god, she on now. You know, this was 1970 something because you can't even run through the airport that fast no more. Now you gotta go okay. through all the security and the taking, security off, your and taking off your shoes and, you know, <laughs> and unloosing your bra. You gotta do all the stuff now. You, you better not even be walking too fast. You can't even run through the airport like, like you, like you, OJ Simpson. You can't even do that because you see somebody running, you think oh, <laughs> there's something going on, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you, yeah, she got on that You're plane, get tackled so to the fast. ground, you right. get tackled to the ground. Yeah, so uh, that was back when there was no security or nothing. She went and got on there by herself, and the mother was haul ass down with her daughter in the car <laughs> trying to get to that airport. Oh, it was crazy. But did when she showed up at that um, place, and he he was grooming probably all them girls in that at that fair at that carnival place. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm and had his son working there. 
You said he had a lot of kids. I said I'm surprised. He had five by a gay, but who he, he might have had yeah, more kids. What I'm other saying women. is, I'm surprised he didn't have other children like with these young girls. No, oh, he so might he have. We probably just didn't hear about them. He he probably got him out there. And there's probably some even. And thank the good, right. thank goodness that he took his own life at the end of this whole thing. Right. Yeah. You know, because he was going to end up going to prison. Um, it took a very, very long time. He was in his 60s by the time they finally was able to really nail the cross to him. Mm -hmm. And then he was going to go to prison, mm -hmm. so he just ended up taking a whole bottle of pills and 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 died, you know. Probably so the same pills that he was feeding to that deuces. kid. Right. Yeah, because he, he probably didn't want to go to that prison because them, them men in yeah. the prison wasn't going to tolerate oh, no yeah, they would, oh, they they business. Mm -mm. You can go in there for drugs or something else, but uh, murder or something else, but you ain't going in for no uh, messing mm -hmm. with no little girls, you know. Right. And it, they they'll deal with you, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh now I know yeah, she okay. was mad when she had to face him in court and he was sitting there lying. Oh yeah, when she was an adult by this time mm -hmm. and, and she was screaming at him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry you feel like that, Jan. I said oh, he my still God. was manipulating her and talking. <laughs> oh, remember what the first yeah. time they went to I mean went to court. Let's go wait, well, let's go back to the teen days. The, First time he only got 15, yeah, 15 days. days. That's a vacation. He mm -hmm. sitting up there reading a book and just enjoying it. <laughs> he said he's gonna do some reading. <laughs> right. He, did. Mm -hmm. he sat back uh, like he was at the beach and he just enjoying himself and um and reading the letters to the Mexican, other inmates. Mexican um prison. Because remember they counted and he, and he counted uh, some of that time, and then that's how he ended up getting the 15 days. Yeah, and I'm 15, like, how did yeah. he Huh. Yeah, and then she was she was looking at him when he did thirty. They she was uh kidnapped longer than than he stayed in jail. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 To make it the mama and the daddy, they they really should go <laughs> in the furnace. But they victims, oh. so that's the only reason why I didn't oh. throw them in the furnace. No, they're not victims. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They was well. They was grown adults. I mean, they was, they but they, they was groomed too. No, they they was grown. To yes, they were. They got to go. Yeah, they was groomed. Your they child, was, your child, your children are in. It. Come on now, no. I, no. I, I, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm. I am with you <laughs> because the mama banned me. I would have been ripping his neck. I would have been tearing Gail's wig off her. Head. I would have been fighting her all up oh, and down that street. The right. mama banned me. Yes, man. I know. I don't know why she let her in when she had that big behind tape recorder on the counter in the kitchen. Why are you wearing yeah. her? And then she I, I had a big old boom box up on that thing. <laughs> she yeah. had like, a big boom box up there. Yeah. Oh, oh my no. goodness. He's fighting yeah. on sight. No. And he went yeah. back and told Gail. I mean, Gail went back and told him. That's why when he told Mary on the phone, oh, yeah, I know you're recording this. Mm -hmm. Because Gail yeah. saw it. She said they was a stupid. That, but they good. She said, did Gail tell you? That no, thing goes yeah, to that one yeah, FBI yeah. guy because he stayed on that case, even when they his his uh, superiors told him get off yeah. of stop. I he appreciate it. He, he kept, kept the gas, him. he kept the pipes warm. He was not playing with him. No, he thank goodness for him. Warm. I mean, that guess is one good person in law enforcement because he was he definitely um, because he <laughs> because the DA was right. through when they uh when the daddy said, Yeah, he he sent the official uh marriage license back to Mexico. He Girl, was like, don't tell me that you sent. He it said, back. "Did y'all like make the original copy?" I said. Yes. He said, "But did you at least <laughs> make copies, right?" He and he and he was like, he was like oh, they they no. was I, I was like, "Let's go send it to Mexico. You never getting it back again." Okay. Right. He, he, he was. He had his own business. You mean to tell me you didn't you think smart enough to make a copy of this? Okay. I would have made twelve no. copies. Of this. this is when they yeah. was pissing me off. It was just like they was right. so. Naive and naive. Yeah. Yeah. The mom the of the of this craziness that they was doing. Yeah, right. That's why they need to go. They need to go in the furnace. <laughs> they yeah, go. they definitely do. And I'm and I'm with Monique Johnson. I don't play with any be, anybody being around my child. Mm -mm. And, you know, I mean, my son's adult now. But if somebody messing with, I'm gonna fight them too. And I don't care. He's an adult. Mm -hmm. We both fight this person. Okay. I mean, the same, right. you know, I mean still, we, no, matter, no matter what, you ain't gonna mess with my family, you know. Yeah. Uh -uh. No, you don't care how old, young, whatever. I don't dang. like people messing with older people, you know, senior citizens, elders, and I don't like people messing with I don't know kids. 
I think it's right. disrespectful. You know, saying to, you know, it's a sick. Because you they always go with people who are weak. You see yeah. They what? go with people who weak who cannot do do for themselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Um said the only reason why Gail came around was to get info for B. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. That was it. And mm-hmm. it was so obvious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. To get info. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was I obvious. And, and they needed to stop talking to Gail. Stop having her over. Yeah, right. right. Marianne. That was Marianne, though. Well, Gail didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. The kids didn't the do anything The first time wrong. she came over there and said, don't call once the cops. Once she was about to like... lose her husband, once she blood, then she realized, okay, she. Mm-hmm. that's when she woke up is when Bob was right. going to divorce her. And um, and she had to go stay with her mama. That's when she realized I lost everything. I screwed up, Roy. Mm-hmm. You know, and it took a. But that was so many years had passed. You know. Yeah. When when y'all got her back from Mexico, they should have mo- packed up and moved from that. That was family. it, right? Yeah. But they Why act like you know that hammer that he bought the second mm-hmm. time we took him. Right. For real. Yeah. He needed. A, he needed a, a a ham upside his head. Um. You know. <laughs> That's what, that's what they, they should have gotten him and and and, and, and man, everybody in that yeah. neighborhood should have uh, taken care yeah. of this guy. Yeah, they should have did him how they did Frankenstein back in the day with torches and everything. Okay, yeah. drag yeah. him through the yeah. streets, drag yeah. him down mm-hmm. hall. Yeah, they, okay. did in, they did that on Freddy Krueger too. The story of Freddy Krueger was mm-hmm. he was a child molester, mm-hmm. and the parents had. All took him and bur- threw him in the furnace. Actually, yeah. yep, they took him through a lot of things. The they burnt furnace. him up, and then he came back in the dreams right. and got the kid. <laughs> but um, but that's you know, I don't know. But this whole town, everybody in this town was Mormons. Everybody, was, they was all. Yes, I was, told you that's what it was. That's mm-hmm. why I said it's like a cult. Like everybody in town, it is it like a cult. cult. Mm-hmm. Man, and um, it said uh. Yeah, it could happen to black people, but our reaction once learning about it would be different. Yeah, oh, it definitely could happen to any race. It could happen to anybody. I, um, mm-hmm. uh, but I think that we would eventually woke up at some point, unless we was kind of real, unless we was in a cult kind of situation. We, you know, I don't know. It just seemed wild to me. I just yeah, because I listened yeah. to a podcast that she was on, and it was two girls that used to be in a um in a cult. They were interviewing Jan about her experience and how similar the experience was with with B and the Mormons as it was to them being in a cult. I said, oh, okay. oh my goodness. Yeah, it's crazy. The grooming and everything. Right. You said the Mormon is like that? Yeah. Yes, uh, the Mormon religion. Them. You see a lot of that. I think that was, uh, is that the same one that was uh, Keep, Jets, Sweet, Pray, and Obey? Yes. Oh, now that's crazy. Keep, yes. Sweet, Pray, and Obey is bananas. It is. Oh, I ain't see that. Okay. Even oh, yeah, um, the yeah, shiny yeah. family is about the Duggard family. That yeah. That, oh, that's yeah, oh, yeah. I saw that documentary. Yeah. If Y'all nobody saw that, that go to uh, Amazon Prime. It's on there about yep. the Duggar family. That yes. whole thing mesmerized yeah. me. I remember I used to watch that show. I used to watch yeah. um, twelve, uh, count, kid, 12 kids, kids and count, or whatever. Count. The now, are I, used to, kids and I used to watch that show, and they used to be on Oprah show. They came, they was on Today. They used to be on mm-hmm. everybody's platform, and I used to watch that show. But then as I, as time went on, I said, wait a minute, there's something real weird something about weird, this. Weird, right? <laughs> First, you know, mm-hmm. you something know. right. So yeah, but that documentary that was wild about that Duggar family. They yeah. Yeah, the the, 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 one, the new the new age bro birds. Well, one they of them is really in uh, prison right now. Mm-hmm. For, uh, right, because he was molesting yeah. his sister. One of the sons. His and own sisters. Yeah. That is crazy. Yes, he was molesting his own sisters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and one of the sisters finally broke away from the gone. family. She don't had no contact with the family. One one of the sisters and her husband, they broke away from them. And she don't even de- they don't deal with her. Mm-hmm. You know, so one, yeah. of, one yeah. of them did get free, but the rest of them is it still in, in that cult like situation and they Having Mormons too the kids. and they all yeah. Mormons too yeah mm, crazy yeah so and they said the I, daddy wasn't even paying them like he wanted to pay the minimum wage <laughs> oh yeah yeah they yep. yeah. millions on that yeah, yeah they made millions and um mm-hmm. and yeah they end up being broke you know and they, they yeah. haven't paid like right, girl lady that's you giving your life Man. every that's 50 50. every, every time you gotta you almost died the last time I, yep like I might keep doing it to myself. 
<laughs> no, but that's yeah, they how they get them. Because it's like they threaten to excommunicate them and then not have any contact with anybody. So it's like when well, you gonna go from this is your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, the whole community till no to nobody can talk about you know talk to mm -hmm. you. So they get you know what another group like, they do this with is the Amish community. Yes, the, the yeah. Amish community similar. Is, is similar to this too. They, they and they, the um Jehovah Witness. Yeah, and uh, Scientology. They Scientology, all the same yeah. yeah, definitely the Scientology. Yeah, That's yeah. a cult for sure. You know, for sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, yeah. I've heard of, um, one of the YouTube there's a lot about, of hard uh, stories. I've seen some documentaries and people they have gotten threatened, um, mm -hmm. almost got their life taken out of here and everything because they tried to get out mm -hmm. of the um, situation. Same with the um the Amish. If you break away, you can't come back and be late, visit your family. Vis you they don't even talk mm -hmm. to you. You just mm -hmm. So you pretty much on your own and got to start your own life as a brand new person. Even some um, Jehovah's right. Witnesses be acting like that. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. I've known Jehovah's yeah, Witnesses fellowship. that, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, this fellowship, yeah. and yeah. now they don't yeah. talk to their family. I just and like, I, I guess that's where the black people I know that will probably be going through something like this will come in at, like, yep. any um, black folks, Jehovah's Witnesses, they definitely know about that excommunication. Yes, right, right. 100%. I used to see I used to see the Mormons around here in my neighborhood. I don't I ain't seen them for a while, but they used to have on the white shirts and the black pants. Little black they be riding, riding on bicycles, yeah. riding on bicycles, and they would be going around and you know. And I tell them right away, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. By you know, don't even come around here. You know, man, mm -hmm. them people use my granny used to be putting them to work because they'd come and try to give her the word. They'd be up there pulling weeds, painting walls, and everything, <laughs> vacuuming, trying to convert her to Mormonism. I was like, Granny, <laughs> please stop letting these folks in your house. Oh, Kendall, yeah, that lawyer. <laughs> uh, that that lawyer was uh was crazy. Yeah, Ooh, that that lawyer lawyer was so mad. Was the beast lawyer. He was what Jennifer she was. Young. B's lawyer, that lady, Jennifer she was Ferguson. no good. She right. was no yeah. good. Mm -hmm. And her face was so irritating when she was trying to really manipulate them into signing the papers. He was like, but, I mean, this is just isn't true. She was like, well, do you want it to come out that you guys were together? And, I was and that's like, why wow. he had to go to the yeah, church Bob's and tell everybody, right? Right. Yeah, I think that's why I get to go to the church and, and, and confess and tell because it was going to probably yep. come out. I was glad Bob anywhere. didn't um, get weak and like take himself out because it seemed like yeah. it would have come to that for him because mm -hmm. he was just so mm -hmm. heartbroken and embarrassed. Yeah, he's passed away, but not because yeah, they he, said he didn't tell the wife either. for years. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I mean that lady was nasty. She was she all she she ain't care nothing about. The whole situation. She was probably just trying to get paid. She was she was nasty. And um, yeah. but that last lawyer that he had, he said um, he said, look, you got to bring the you brought you got to bring the girl back. You got to bring her back today. He mm -hmm. <laughs> was like, yeah. Um, He's like, you going to jail? Because <laughs> he was trying to go to jail because the FBI was gonna come out to him too. Yeah, yeah that detective was on it though. He followed him and you know traced the phone call back when they was yeah. you know. You know, looking for the little girl when they end up fighting oh, her. That was so but, smart oh, to, to figure right, out right, how right, many right. coins in the payphone. And yeah. they said, yeah. like, so many yeah. coins would be for this place, mm -hmm. and so many coins would be for that place, based based on the area yeah. codes or whatever. Uh -huh. And uh, they, they were was, on yeah. It. yeah, I give the FBI credit on that but because that, that one guy he, wasn't let, letting up. That one guy, he right, uh -huh. he was using the most technology he could for the time. Yeah, like, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at this time, yeah. you know, but there was no pay phones at that time, so they had to figure yeah. it out. And, and that's why it took so many years. But it, because they, you know, now they could just digitally find out where you are now. You ping yep. your phone and all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. now. But that was, um, it, yeah, it took a while, but he stayed on that case. Um, he even tried to do a little undercover thing, but he got caught. You know, sitting in the uh -huh. car eating a sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was smart. He saw him sitting over there, and mm -hmm. oh lord, I mean, and you know, and I know uh, I didn't have a little girl, but you got to work. You got to watch your boys just as well too, because people be grooming the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know? and Candy, you got a little girl. You better watch your eyeballs on these people. I'm telling you, they wild out here. 
and even yeah, family like members. Right talk, I, mean, I don't want to talk about nobody's family, but some, some, yeah, everybody, you know, somebody might everybody have a creepy uncle, creepy that, cousin, yep, creepy granddad, creepy something. uncle. And don't be letting the kids sit in the laps and people's mm -hmm. laps. I don't let them sit in the Santa Claus lap, all that crazy mm -hmm. stuff. Stop the Easter bunny, Easter, Easter bunny, Easter bunny, Easter Easter bunny. Yeah, stop all that, yo. Mm -hmm. that, that day is over with. Don't right, do that. that's out. Mm -hmm. That's right. That day is over. <laughs> right, they get them jobs for a reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, why I, I don't like all that hugging stuff. Yeah, yeah. no, okay. I don't like all that hugging stuff. Uh -uh. Or if the kids would be tickling each other, I'd be like, "Don't do that." Uh, yeah, uh, right. well, yeah. I, I, I never like that tickling stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No, uh, -uh. Mm -hmm. that don't. I, yes, listen, yeah, I don't like you kissing so babies cute. in the face and in the mouth either. Oh, I can't stand yeah. that. You don't grab mm -hmm. my baby and kissing them in the lips and stuff. You, you're not the parent, mm -hmm. you know, right? You know, uh, -uh. <laughs> yeah, Matthew, it's it's rough. Um, Kimber in the trip. Kimber, Kimber really got into the show, boy. <laughs> yeah, on, was on this one. So yeah. the, the bro bro showed the family don't f with me yeah mm -mm. yeah yeah um, yeah that lawyer wasn't playing that lawyer wasn't playing he wasn't playing with nobody they, 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 they ended up getting yeah. himself a good lawyer that last lawyer they had that they got himself himself a good lawyer because that, yeah, that lawyer, lawyer wasn't was playing with the lawyer wasn't even playing with them mm -hmm. right yeah, he, yeah. Them stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm. um Oh. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, you just don't mess with. Yeah, I agree there. You just don't mess with people's children at all. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, it's a, it's a documentary on uh, both Peacock mm -hmm. and um, Netflix. Yeah, and yeah. um, but the, you can Google the story, it's all on Wikipedia, it's on other you know, different uh, articles. You can see the real life people and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. I mean, see, that's what happens when you I'm can scrolling go to through. Spotify and listen to like a bunch of podcasts. And I just find yeah. something crazy like this. Yeah, you uh, go down the rabbit hole uh, with this latest story. It, it is so much mm -hmm. that we didn't probably yeah. we didn't touch it on, and that, and mm -hmm. they did a good job of trying to narrow down many years in in nine episodes because this went yeah. on for many many years. Mm -hmm. And they just try to condense it down. Um, I, I want to go back to that Gail, the, the wife. Like, oh, after no. a while, she should have been, she should have been like, she didn't even, I don't even think she was helpful at all, right? She didn't even, did she do anything to try no, to help she was them? groomed too, though. Somebody no, said that. I think was it was groomed. Moochie. Yeah, I think, I think she was groomed. I think she was groomed. Mm -hmm. yeah. She told yeah. me. Yeah. He told she told they were they together like when she was a little bit older than a girl. What you say, Mooji? Wow. I said she she had explained. Remember how we used to go for drives? It sounds just like him and Jan's little relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's all way in his car and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he's a little bit older. She said that to somebody. So mm -hmm. I think he groomed her too. That's why she was so afraid. Yeah. But I guess she got too old for him and she knew because it was someone yes. else before, before yes, Jan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I wonder, was he abusive? Cause the way she act like he was abusive. Yeah, she acted scared. I she looks scared. Like he was like he did. Emotionally mm -hmm. abusive. He probably yeah. will be tearing her up. Like when we see yeah. him be emotional, he might not abusive. punch her in the face, but yeah. he emotionally, right. um, and spiritually, mentally abused her. He yeah. definitely. But she acted like down. she was scared of him. Like she had like she was scared, afraid of him though. I she I think she. No. Was. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say he did yeah, have the have the blicky on him the same time that the wife like, had it too. Oh, yeah. he had yeah. blicky too. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? He can be because he, he spazzed out on Jan. Remember that's why she had that accident. So I bet right. he spazzed out on this. Oh, I'm yep. sorry, we ain't supposed to say that word in it. I bet he flips on that lady uh on her like yes, this. Yeah, candy. I feel like that work. too. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure he did it. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. They made Beyonce take it out of her um out of her song. I, I know they yeah. I know we can't say nothing no more. Lord have mercy. Um and yeah, that alien time, story, yeah. uh Derry, that <laughs> alien story was why now I mean that's when that's when I mean I understand you if you eight years old, little eight, nine, ten year old, you probably right. believe kind of a little silly. By the time she got to be 14 and over, like why didn't she that's wake up a little bit? Yeah. Girl, you, you still know, believing in Santa Claus too, Jen? Or what? Okay, right. But they Mormons, they might. Did they believe it? Do they believe in Santa Claus? Yeah. Well, yeah, because somebody the plays, they want Santa Claus. So yeah, they do. Oh, the, uh, uh, Bob, the father, was dressed up as Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. They was all the, yeah, well, yeah they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's crazy. 
Uh, but that's yeah, how she said she no. came out of it when she started to, to like do things and then what he said was gonna happen didn't happen that's kind of how she kind of figured out like oh he, when she touched her phone was like hey, like, nobody her was vaporized don't touch any boys you'll be vaporized right she went, she went to the yeah. dance with the little boy, boy and she had a good time mm -hmm. it ain't i said this little boy is He's scared to he even was, ask he her. Was a, to do he was anything. a nice little kid because he wasn't scared he was to go out with everybody patient. else. Probably thought she was a weirdo, but mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the, the the mother finally did uh, finally did come around toward the end. I mean, she whew, took a long time though. Yeah, she finally did get some balls toward the end. <laughs> Cause when she found out about that marriage license, the way that she was crying as if like he married her and not me, like she felt like broken hearted by B. That's what she was given. So it seemed like once she uh -huh. finally realized like, oh, you was playing me, dude, then yeah. that's when she finally kicked in and, you know, got with it. Yeah. But that's it crazy. Like and it was competing in competition. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Girl, yeah, so he convinced yeah, his wife of the alien yeah, story, yeah. isolated her. Yeah, because the wife didn't have no friends. You could see, like, you could you look like she's she's scary. Mm -hmm. She looks scary. Yeah. You know what yeah. it was. She looked like, like a little olive oil, little. like any little thing. She comes, she's scared, you know. <laughs> she's gonna break down and cry. Yeah, yeah he that's probably how she had a tape recorder playing for her, too. Talking about uh -huh. companion. He probably <laughs> had one for her, another message. Okay, yeah, and then she took her over there to see. Oh, he was building an RV. And took him over there and was like, "Oh, I don't have the key." I'd be like, "You better break this damn door." Exactly. Okay. Was like, How she crawled out on this? the floor. She crawled out on the my floor. Hand around her throat. Throat. Thing was gone. Well, why wouldn't you tell me that right away? Right. You know? She was part of it. She knew she was right, part of it. That was not the first girl. She didn't probably busted be yeah. a million times doing this kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But yep. she know that she ain't about to go and get no job that can support all them kids. She didn't popped out, so <laughs> she right, got to go with right. the flow. And when he got divorced from her, he said, "I'm always going to take care of you and the children." You know, yeah. He did. Say but that remember, he that, that, um, she had to remain loyal. Yeah, Jan was calling her father yeah. Bob. She definitely yeah. was calling him uh -huh. Bob. She started call yeah, she started calling him by that name. But remember, in the beginning, when he first took her, like the first day, and met in uh uh this went over there and he said they was like well what would you think he would be well i'll call his cousin or somebody in somewhere to see if they've seen him but maybe he had a flat tire or maybe the car I'm broke sure down car hey, what? shit oh uh, oh uh. no she said man y'all can't find this man because uh he gonna stop taking care of me if he get busted <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. a security bag. Listen, the minute I called her and she was like, well, let me come over there. I'd have been like, never mind. You don't got to come right. over here and to me. I'm going to just call the cops. <laughs> never yeah. mind. Right. We about to call them, girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was making it. Maybe the car broke down. Girl. Have y'all covered mind, the good. Saving Nora Smith story on Pocket FM and YouTube? No, I ain't heard about that. I uh, saw so a long no. commercial about it being in the I don't know. I haven't heard about that uh, treadmill. Mm -mm. Mm. It's so no, many crazy, no. these crazy stories. Hey, don't I tell us we'll find yeah, one and get stuck. <laughs> yeah, we'll find another one. That was because we this. Me and Moochie was talking behind the scenes that this reminded us of that other crazy story we covered yeah. called Candy. Remember that lady Candy who oh, uh, took her husband oh, out? Yeah, he kind of yeah, gave me that feel yeah. that it was 1970 something. That was crazy. That, that was, was a wild story. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was intense. Used to go um at the apple. That was good too. But yeah. it was like I liked all of them so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that they, does they, remind you of they, candy, did, they called the popo, but uh, they didn't really do nothing. They said, "Have y'all seen a green car?" Uh, did anybody get in the accident? <laughs> she didn't really do nothing. It took a while before they. Yeah, that's because the wife was standing FBI. there. I'd have been like, they had to weird. probably call the FBI before something started happening. And then they had to wait over the weekend because it was a holiday or something. Mm -hmm. And we had to wait. That's, that's, that's how he ended up keeping up for two months almost. I was like, what the frack of frack of frack of frack. Oh, we seen nothing oh. happening. <laughs> they checked her out and they said, I don't, I still believe something happened. Mm -hmm. That oh, male yo, doctor, no, something did like, happen. He knew what he was she doing. Ended he ended up did getting um, she ended up did her, getting uh, molested, right? Because mm -hmm, yeah, she, she had her, her woke up and her nightgown was twisted was, around yeah. her. And yep. Turned yeah, around. He and, just and, knew and, what he was doing. They said she. Oh, 
Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. What was you saying, Miss Care? No, I was up. saying um he do something to her, but he just didn't break her hymen. So I was breaking up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know. Might, it could be my crazy internet. I don't know. That's probably yeah, so that he part. might he might have been doing oral to her. Yeah. But Jan yeah. said in the well, documentary that it had been happening, or even on that last episode, she said since she was twelve, uh, when we went to Mexico, like basically he's been right. trying to get me pregnant so i could save this community or whatever so it had been happening he probably was i don't know maybe he just did not break the hymen or he must maybe have that stretched it or something so it didn't snap yeah, yeah. like the but, doctor probably didn't know what he was that. for yeah but you know the doctor and i didn't like that they had a male doctor looking at her maybe they have right, any female candy. doctors then but I didn't like that she was being examined. I, I would have said no. I've been the with a man. Really had examination on her. He had the nurse right. in the room with him. Yeah. Right. Oh, and Mookie I would have been there too. Part. My I child didn't really get an examination. He probably said, oh, he was doing good. I'm sorry. I think the whole town was in No. Yeah. I don't think that doctor did a physical examination and really looked up in the hoo-ha. I don't think so. I don't think so. So. That was crazy. He, like, no. No. Um, when the guy, he said, I when the guy, the every, oh, the uh, FBI daughter uh, came home late. Yeah, I thought B did something too. I did, I did. Got her ass, though. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought, mm -hmm. uh, y'all, he was furious because he was scared. And I was right? glad. I was glad. I was glad he got in, got in her butt because she needed it. For real, like girl, it's, it's creeps out here on the loose, and you don't even yeah. know what I'm dealing with right now. Yeah, like you have no idea. Okay. You're playing. No, she just comes strolling in late. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she grown. I mean, like. Mm -hmm. Um, but I thought B did something. Um, to yeah. uh, retaliation. To yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was thinking I that too. They, they let us. Yep. They kind of make dramatize it to make let us believe that. That's what mm -hmm. I saw. Right. And um, I think they did a good job with just um, I know some things was probably not in the order that it really happened and some things uh didn't um you know it's made for tv so they yeah they got to stretch it out a little bit but i think they did a good job they got the basis of it right though uh, and, and from the documentary yeah. it wasn't too loosely based like it yeah it seemed like right i agree real. yeah you know mm -hmm. yeah they did a good yeah. job yeah i hadn't that, seen the documentary that, in a while, that mother on the documentary she she really was well, miss carrie you but she really was distraught she was she she called her own self a bitch. She said, I felt like yeah, a she dirty like, I bitch. Felt like a bitch. She did. Yeah. Moochie, the mother, she, yeah. the mother she called right. herself a dirty bitch. You know? Yeah. Mm. Rightfully so. <laughs> I mean <laughs> I throw them in the furnace. <laughs> her eyes was watery the they whole got time. She was crying. Like, she was very true. upset. Um yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, she said hymens are always true. break during intercourse. Some break, right, yeah, don't you could have broken it horseback riding. That's probably why you took a horseback riding, though. Oh, yes, look, look, he was so calculated. But I thought they said it was in that. Steps ahead of everything. Well, it did. Yeah, according to that doctor, if he did yeah. a internal examination, put the glove on, and go up in there, and look, he probably did. He said it wasn't broken, that she still was good. You know, yeah, that's what man, the doctor said. But, he don't know what he's talking but about. But they stayed in the house. They kept going to that church. They that kept part. they kept her in the same school. I, I would have left our whole community. She I would have I would have sold my business in a flower shop. At the school, and she was talking to them anyway. Right, because the mama had already said it's no harm in her talking to the boys. And but right. that police officer, yeah. that agent said. Y'all don't need to be worried about B's state of mind. You need to be worried about your daughter, and y'all need to be talking to them, not even right, the wife or right. the kids. And they he messed Jane like, up. He messed Jane up so much. She thought these like strangers with were the people from. I think all oh, that was a setup. You see how she was looking at everybody uh -huh. like, "Ooh, is that one?" Yeah. That's right. Yeah, right, right, right. And you never know. I mean, he really did a number. I mean, he probably was also giving her he the, some psych psychiatric drugs something to mess her up you know because she was messed up yeah and he did it to many other girls and and their and their families so he, i'm glad he took his own stuff out i'm glad he ain't here now because he'll probably still be trying to do it if he was walking the streets 
But unfortunately, I kind of so wish he went to prison, though. <laughs> Me too. Uh, for at least and let somebody bit. else do it. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah I agree. Just so, just so he could suffer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so he could suffer. Yeah. Um, but at least Jane could walk the streets and not worry about if he gonna pop up again because he kept trying to contact her even as an adult. Oh my god. That's even so as an adult, he kept trying to reach her. Yeah, that's he too would not dramatic. Leave her alone. He called out. I wouldn't even want to hear a phone ring. Later, she answered the phone and hung up. Right, right. He was like, "Oh, that's Damn, yeah." And I that's when it. I think I think that's when that time she really got the strength. Then she didn't even get upset by it. And they was doing they was doing a puzzle again as a family. And she just went on and slammed the phone down and kept going. She said, "Oh, that was the wrong number." So yeah, that's when we knew then. Okay, daddy. he's really she's starting yeah. to heal now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I uh, mean, she he he was obsessed with her. He really yeah. was. Um. Okay. Yeah, that's what the hippie people. I I'm thinking that um. He might have sent these people over there to her. Sorry, Unless that was just paid. all in her mind. You think yeah. that was just in her mind? She was a little, you know, crazy? Or no, I think he was telling the story. Yeah. I think that was, remember they had, remember he had the lady from the hospital, the, the nurse. hospital. Mm -hmm. I think they was doing that, but I, I think it was all in her head too, though, because she was like he, she was still kind of believing everything he was saying. Right. So she was thinking that people was watching her. Some of them were aliens. So I think he was still inside her head with that. Right. Mm -hmm. I yeah. bet you to this day, and she's probably in her sixties, I guess. Probably, she probably just still messed up to this day. Yeah. You know? I'm sure. I'm sure she can't mm -hmm. stand to hear a phone ring because that's how I'm <laughs> feeling. Like, but oh my god. Mm -hmm. Crime stuff, crime stories and stuff. Cause I looked oh, okay. up, um, I looked up earlier. She she got a foundation. She helps out other victims and stuff. So she, I mean, I guess she's doing good work. But she still, she probably still messed up. And she got an adult son. Um, that he said he been through it with his mother though. Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. documentary, he said he been through it with his mother. Yep. And um, but. He, you know, he said he forgives her. Later. Yeah, I mean, but that that probably was just she's still looking for a, another bee to take care of her. She she probably just right. all messed somebody up. to tell her what to do. Yeah, a lot of times people who are victimized, they keep on, they go out here and they just they become, you know, you would think they wouldn't want to be bothered with no men after that, but they keep going on and on and doing Angel stuff. Angel from like BMF, prime example. Yeah, yeah like that. Yes, yeah, things like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can feel the hurt when she realized it was all a lie. Yeah, she was not. She started tearing up them uh, letters. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, and, and I'm glad too, that um, she did not get pregnant. Yeah, Ooh, I, I, know. Yes. Pregnant. I was, was kind of worried about that. Hey, Mr. Like, Harris, it was going to happen, rather. Mm. Right, cause yeah, it was he was trying for he was trying for she so tried. long. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. y'all, yeah. we got the we got to watch our children and, and we got right. grandchildren. I mean, you oh, uh, just you just got to watch your nieces, your nephews. You got to just watch over the. We got to watch over these babies mm -hmm. out here. These, these people, it's a yes. lot of predators. You know, it just is. It is, and it's and we can unfortunately we can't watch people twenty four hours a day. But if we see something, we got to nip it in the bud right away. Yeah, and, and I don't care about my family too. Member. Right, tell your kids like if somebody you know like let them know if somebody tell you this is never okay. Like, cause yeah. that's how uh, B was getting. Yeah, and that was the, the problem. Because it's like yeah. don't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like what? if somebody tell yep. you that. Yeah, Damn. yeah, yeah. That's then you can't tell it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's never okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to ask my son when he was little and he would go off to camp and stuff. I used to ask yeah. him questions. Yeah. And Anybody I don't care if it made him here? uncomfortable. I used to have conversations like this with him. And I'm yeah. like, you know, you tell me if anybody, a teacher, uh, anybody, when he played basketball, even as a little boy, about the, you know, I would be at the base to go to all the um the practices, and they was like, oh, I pick him up and stuff. No, I'll t I'll go with the, I'll um, I'll go to the thing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't picking, putting them in the van and with all the other kids, and I don't know. 
uh uh-uh. you might not never right. make it to the game you know and be gone with all the children so right i used to go to the uh practices and the um basketball games when my son played basketball well, me too. As, a, as a little boy I, yeah. I was driving them and stuff <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't leave mine I, alone. I too long. Yeah, I used to bring water and all kinds of stuff like and the little snacks and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. and because mm-hmm. that makes your kid not be a target when they see that you present, they know yeah. if any predators are in the uh vicinity, they know we can't do it with this one. Cause right, you know, right, and it's right, definitely right. hard when you're a single parent like I was yeah. because you try to you know you have to have a, a, a community of other people to help you out because you you right. have to work and I used to sometimes work two three jobs because you got to pay the bills and, and you got to rely uh, on a, and you had to rely on the people but but I still did yeah. what I could do to always make sure I was there and uh, right all the time because you just can't trust nobody you know Mm-mm. yeah I mean it's, it's sad nope. That it's like that, that you gotta have your guards up like that. But it's just it's hard. Mm-hmm. It's difficult. So and yeah, that's why I'm saying then, like don't have your children on social media. Yeah. Cause you don't know because yeah. you don't know what why. turns a friend of the on. Yeah, because yeah. mm-hmm. you see these videos where the kids and I be telling my kids to not put their location on there too. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like Moochie's grandson, right? He's too little to be on no social media. But like Miss Kara, you got uh big enough kids that they could be on social media. You got to make sure that they don't. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Then you got to make sure they're not on them. Yeah, I always tell them, the don't thing. put your locations yeah. on. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But these kids now, mm-hmm. they come out the womb knowing how to use an iPhone. Don't be telling nobody your business. <laughs> they yeah. do. They right. know how to use yeah. an app, yeah. iPad and stuff mm-hmm. now. They, I mean. That's I'm still right. figuring out all my features on the thing. I don't even know every day. <laughs> so, so they, but they could, they know so much more now. And yeah, I mean, sometimes it's a good thing, but mm-hmm. a lot of time it's not, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. But like, but they don't say like your kids posting, like you don't know what turns a person on, you know, they could be posing. They could be right. Eating the, eating the cheering, banana. you know, and just out there. You don't know what turns a predator on right. something simple as a child being a gymnast. Exactly. You know, you have to be careful these days. And that's because I have seen nervous. some videos, Candy, like that, where it's just innocent little girls doing gymnastics moves, but it's like, okay, um, no, because the way that her butt was just in the camera or the way that her legs came open, like this is what I would not want. This mm, would be edited love. out. Because you know, just as a parent, if yep. you got that good eye, you like, uh uh-uh, uh, this is not cool. Because I know like yeah. that this is somebody's material. Like if you got yeah. your baby eating fruit, like when I say eating yeah. a banana, I mean yeah. like a, a cut up banana. People, oh, but and even a pickle too. Yes. A pickle yes. can look um uh, one of those big like, fat pickles can look sexual. Yes. And a Probably. banana, things yep. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People are yeah. sick. Mm-hmm. You're just yep. sick, sick, sick. Yeah. They don't care what it is. They something will turn them on. It and it's not it. just the men. Right. We yep. know we got the predators of the women too. Look at Mary Kay Latortos. Yep. She yep. passed oh, away now. Remember when she married sure. that little 13 year old boy? She was a bee. She was a bee, y'all. Because yeah, she grew that little boy. That's that was so wild. And they made all kind of TV movies about it. I saw a couple of movies about that. Yeah, I mean, babies by him too, right? Baby, they yeah. get married, married and had about three, three, four kids. I think three children, two or three. Yeah. Yeah. And the kids went to the same school that she that all that went down. And she had a like first set of kids. Her first town. set of kids didn't mess with her no more. I her uh-huh. husband divorced her first husband divorced her. She had about four or five kids with the first husband, and then she ended up married this little boy after she came out of um. She kept going back to him. They said, stay away from him. Stay away from oh, him. Oh, you talking she about went to jail oh, and everything. Mary Kay, the, the Mary turtle, Kay or whatever they was. Yeah. yeah. And then, and he finally passed yeah. away. From they just had that Netflix but, um, thing. Um, they just had just that Netflix movie called cool May December ago. that was kind of loosely loosely based on her. Mm-hmm. Loosely based, yeah. There's a lot of movies. Uh, what's the name of this here? Ooh, Ooh, right. I haven't seen that. Huh? Right. I didn't hear you. What what on Mary Kay. Yes, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got we can't all talk at the same time because we say again, Miss Kara, the name of the thing Netflix. Net was on okay. Netflix called May December. It was loosely based on uh Marianne. Okay, okay. Mm. I'll, 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 Mary King yeah. Eternal. yeah, that's her. That's the lady. She married okay. that little that boy, and um, mm-hmm. I mean by the time they got married, he was 18, but she started with him at 12 or 13. Mm-hmm. She was his middle school teacher, mm-hmm. right. 
lusting after. Uh, uh. Oh, and what about mm -hmm. the other one? Name the mother on. was easy with that one too. She that was crazy. She got locked up. That was crazy. Man, she, she and was that pregnant was a... while she was in prison. Yeah, but she took the baby after she gave yeah. birth to it. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Nah. I mean, and no, nobody gives nobody a two piece in the biscuit no more. I mean, what is That's going what I'm on? Saying. <laughs> you know what Man. I'm saying? Somebody need to hammer upside their head on these people. And there was another <laughs> lady too who slept with a, a, t a teenage. What I'm saying, she had she taught she had the the kid take her husband out. She went. She's still in prison now. The lady. Pam oh, something. I seen oh, that. You talking mm. about? Um, him, um, what was her I name? I seen that on like a day. I know what you're talking about, but that was yeah. They did they they probably movies like they Lifetime did a bunch of movies on her and stuff. Yeah, and, and convinced the boy to uh, end up taking out her husband, and um, but she's still to this day sitting, still sitting in prison. Yeah. So and that's where you need to be, you know. She's got life. Mm. And yeah, she, she there stayed there until the rest of her life. Uh, okay, so let me put this up here so. Anybody want to see it? May, December. I'll look for it. I'll look I want to watch that, too. Y'all done got mm -hmm. me to that. I ain't I, 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 told Candy, I told Candy. I told Candy. It's, I told Candy. We got to find like more. dramatization. Two crime stories. I like these yeah. little two crime stories like this. And um, let's like all I watch. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I like it. You know, that's it. We had to talk more about this. We had to get back together as a group and talk, find some. Anybody yeah. know? I just let me know and we can do more of them because I like yeah. uh, this kind of story. I do too. Um, yeah, I'm watching that tonight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, Kendall. I ain't want to say <laughs> that because I don't want to sound like I'm a racist. <laughs> really? Oh, no. <nah. laughs> No, yeah, I was gonna say it, but I said no, Ginger Snap, shut up. I don't say nothing <laughs> because um don't they uh they a little different than than especially if you grow up sort of in the urban area too, because all the mm -hmm. urban community, even if it's the suburbs, but it's still a little more with it. If you out in the boonies somewhere, right. you might they might think different, but I don't know. But their their community was that whole community over there was stupid. Yeah. They 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 just mm -hmm. didn't um uh they just nobody believed this guy B. They all thought he was so good cuz he's so nice. Yeah. Like, oh, he's so nice. He just he not They could him. not believe it. Like I mean, why would B act like that? You see how he is. Even when remember mm -hmm. when the man when uh Mr. Bur uh the daddy uh, tried to call around looking for B, and the man was like, "Yeah, he said that you're he you're a good guy, that you're his best friend that could always lend him a hand." I said, "Not <laughs> lend a hand." He started backing away from that phone. Yes. Like, oh, no. uh -uh. <laughs> a helping hand, a helping hand. Hey, but remember uh, when he um when he went and picked Jan up, and he said, "I knew you uh you were handy with something," and uh B pulled and he pulled off real fast. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Okay. What, what y'all think about the um the bishop? What y'all think about the bishop from the church when he called Bob on the on the payphone and said, "You know, I think I saw Jan in the car, but it turned out wasn't Jan. It was another girl who was being groomed. Mm -hmm. But he thought he saw, and I think turned out, I think her, I think his own daughter probably was being groomed too. But it, it ended up being, mm -hmm. it ended up leading them to a yeah, right place. They were able to locate uh Jan after that. Well, well, it was well after that, but yeah, there was. I mean, so it turns out that the that's why I said that church yeah, knew that was the next that's mother daughter. Latter day group. Saints, they mm -hmm. knew that this man yeah, was no good. He confessed to it, right? He got same way Bob when he confessed. He knew the details and still disfellowship those people, knowing that he was manipulating yeah. them, knowing that what he did. I don't. I. I, I oh. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. it's really upsetting. It's really fresh. I mean, you know, we we can joke. I don't even told Candace we joke and laugh, but when we really kind of think about it, this whole thing is just pissing me off. It was making my blood boil a couple of times. I was getting yeah. mad. Yeah, I was I getting I was mad. getting mad because I just like, oh man, what what are you doing? What are you doing? So I don't know, but oh y'all, this was a good one. And I just happened to find it by scrolling through the peacock. So it was um yeah, it was a good one. Up. And um, uh, I'm glad y'all um all wanted to talk, you know, talk about it with me. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> I would have just been up here talking by myself, but you know, but I'm glad y'all wanted to talk about it. 
Um, Not gonna be by yourself with some good juicy stuff like this. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I came on last. So thanks for having me, lady. Yeah. Oh no. Anyway. I, I appreciate. It. So what y'all got uh, going on? I know everybody be having stuff going on all week. Miss Kara keeps the stuff going. I look up and she be boom, boom, boom. She, I, I don't even get a chance to watch all the bit. stuff. She be putting it so fast. <laughs> a little bit. Trying to, <laughs> trying to get them numbers up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you, um, you, I you did do, some of the house going on, right? Yeah, I did summer house month. Martha's Vineyard. I did Diara from Detroit and Love and Marriage DC, and that is it for me until our our Ready to Love live until yeah, next. Week. Yeah, yeah. And so you cranked all that out this weekend. You you put all that out this weekend. Uh, no, all those I did Summer House. No, Summer House was Wednesday. Diara was Friday. Love and Marriage DC was Saturday. I'm trying to okay. trying to stretch them out. Yeah, because when yeah, I do everything on the lot, weekend, the algorithm is funny. But now that I'm stretching them out, I don't like that neither. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't know. We don't know how to work. Uh, Friday, Saturday, right. Sunday. So I did the Wednesday, but that ain't helping. And, and Candy, what you got going on? Um, later on, I think nine thirty. Aries and I are going back to court. We're going to mind some other folks' business. Down, down, down. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like people's court. That's right. <laughs> Um, and that's it right now. I think I might join y'all for BMF tomorrow. Um, I got to stay busy in this algorithm because it's yeah, like Kim, like Miss Kira saying, you don't know what to do for these people, you don't know what they like or don't like. I don't know, but and then nope. I'll be back at it again next week with some more. Um, going back to court, I got to find another movie to watch so I can do another movie. Hopefully, yeah. during the week, I need to find something during the week. Mm hmm. Oh, you know, oh, wait a Matthew said, Mind the other folks' business is my joint. All right, okay, you got a plan. Okay. You got a plan. Okay, well, come, come that, through man. at nine o'clock we'll at night. 9 30. 9 30. Okay, we're okay. going back to child support. I slid through there with y'all. What was it last week or something? That thing yeah. was crazy. Yeah. That crazy lady. <laughs> <laughs> with her party city wig on. That was wild. And yeah, then, that um, lady was. Uh, Aries, you doing your uh, smoke session? Yes, I'm gonna come with the smoke session. So it's gonna be since me and Candy gonna be on that thing, uh, minding other folks' business at 9:30. It's gonna be what Inga has been asking for the smoke session, Aries After Dark edition. Okay, <laughs> just so we could just we ain't gonna be doing too much, you know. It's just gonna be some mature conversation if we need to be. But yeah, so make sure that y'all tune in for that. Yeah, right put your kids the, to bed. Uh, <laughs> right, put them to bed. Give them their melatonin. <laughs> That's right. That's okay. right. And what time is that? That's gonna That's be whenever we get done with yeah, whenever we get done okay. with the uh minding. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And then Moochie, you always got a lot of things going on. Y'all gotta mm -hmm. check out her page. She got so much content. Yeah, you could be watching from here to the rest of the rest of the year. So she got a lot of stuff going on there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, which I know you got something good coming up this week, right? Yes, we got tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, I'm doing we doing a recap, but EJ's hosting it Tuesday. Set it off Wednesday, okay. Mayor of Kingstown, and I think that's it, right? I think we're supposed to do a movie this Thursday, but I don't know. If, I don't know if we do took a break. I gotta get back with EJ and them, but BMF. Yeah, we you just did BMF, I think. Oh, and uh, yeah. and then BMF again. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, because it's a it's, it's an episode. It's this I know they're gonna take a break. A break right? They are gonna get a break, but I think we do get an episode this. Week. Yeah, I think this yeah. episode, and then we get a break. I think. I believe. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. you say you, Tuesday is set it off, right? Mm -hmm. I love that movie. Set Ooh, it I'm off. I'm gonna oh, yeah. tap into that for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love. I ain't seen it in a minute too. So. Mm -hmm. That's and I love that y'all carry uh covering the mayor of Kingstown because man, that is my show. Yes, they, yeah. they, they got me watching yeah. now. Yeah, so it's yeah, so we catching up with that with the first mm -hmm. two seasons. Oh, so yeah, for that episode four and five. Yeah, so four that's and five. Yeah. This, um, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday yeah. what? What Wednesday are we doing? 10. A, ten at ten. Okay, okay. 
If you watch yeah. the end of the episode, uh, Inga, she watched yeah. Inga. Yeah. I believe. That, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I was only like 10 minutes. I had only missed that 10 minutes. But that last part, when that guy went to, um, they had him in the jet. Mm. Man. Mm-mm. That was why. <laughs> they poked him up bad. I don't feel yeah. sorry for him. He deserved that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sure he deserved that. So. But it, um, at 7.30, me, Miss Kara, again, and Shanna is going to come back and finish up the last part of this Ray to Love reunion. And these people just a mess. So we're just Look tearing to Kara. them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're just tearing. A well, hot ass I, mess. I, I didn't okay. realize it was going to be a two-parter because I could have, you know, if it had just been one, we could have just finished it up, did it last week. But it was two parts, so. I'm ready to be done with these people. So it's yeah. the last one after that. <laughs> I'm done with these people. You gotta wrap them so, up. Yeah, just wrap it up. And then um, so <laughs> that's so that's so we had a double header today, but um then this this coming week, what else I we have going on? I don't have nothing planned for the week. Oh, well, I'm, I'm gonna do BMF when I you know I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up with Moochie on Wednesday for Mad Kingstown, and then um then I guess my BMF would be either Friday or Saturday or Sunday or something, whatever. I don't have it scheduled yet, so. Are you going to still um, do Summer House or you gave up? I still like the show, but you I still- think I'm going to just probably watch it and just listen to y'all uh, review. Okay. I, I don't know. Because I'm already <laughs> behind in it now, so. so um, I probably just, you be throwing um, them up there, too. I'll be like, oh. Okay. I know. And, and then again, mm-hmm. I might just go up there and do like a, uh talk about a couple of episodes of my, like last time i just did one and two i might go so who knows so i'm yep. trying to put stuff up there just to keep you know i'm trying well you're uh, doing a great job Inga. thanks like to me put this yeah. together. yes you are yes, yeah yes, I'm, yes. yeah i'm 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 trying to learn and and i definitely take all the um you know any critique criticism and you know anything that to help me and uh so people have been helping me behind the scenes. Tamika gave me pointers. Miss Kara stayed with me on the phone, helped me a little bit. Moochie oh, definitely been helping me al- always along the way. And uh, so and so I'm just uh, trying to learn. So hopefully uh, the page will just keep growing. You know, as long as I'm still having fun with it, which I am, right. I- I'll keep doing it. But yep. if it's, you know, but if it starts to get on my nerves, then I'll be on a break. <laughs> you know, so. Okay. <laughs> But right yeah. now, I'm not at that point yet. Yeah. 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 And I always put some on the community page, just keeping in touch with people. I think people just like staying, like, want you to keep staying engaged with them. Right. So, yeah. Keep them in the loop. You know, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. like putting up shorts. I put up the shorts, throwing somebody in the fire or something like that. <laughs> you know, I think yeah. I guess one up there now, y'all, with Marquisha in the fire. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, because, um, uh, um, What's her name? LaWanda told me to throw Marquisha in the fire, so I had to do it. LaWanda <laughs> called me on the phone. That's said, right. Snap, throw her ass in the fire. Aww. So I said, get your ass okay. in that goddamn fire. And don't <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we are sick of your ass. You know what I'm saying? So we tired of her. And um, so so you never know That's who Lord. might end up in there, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, LaWanda gave me good advice. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm trying to tell her right. to stop fooling with Terry. Take your two children, go on about right. your business. And okay. Then, he can financially take care of you. Don't turn down the coin. Take right. He can financially take care of your kids, but just stop okay. sleeping with him. Stop sleeping with him. Take you know, the first. Yes. Keep getting the gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the vans. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, and, yeah mm-hmm. and her and her thirsty mama, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, her mama, yeah. we, we her can... mama went to furs and all of that stuff. So her mama can go in the furnace too, though. Her mama can go in yeah, the furnace. Her mama mama her What's in the bag? And negligee, she be why you don't never yeah, yeah. no clothes on, lady. Right, you yeah. always walk around half naked. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> mother, <laughs> the mother should have balled up her fist and the two of them jumped Marquisha at the door. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. You know what? When she came near, I was surprised that it went down that civil. I thought it was going to be some hands and feet being put on each other, especially the way Ma- that what the, the Wanda's mother get down. She seemed like she'd be ready to scrap right along with her daughter. Mm-hmm. When she got her, but she's so busy smoking her Winston's or her camels, yeah. and she's sitting there, you know what I'm that saying? That was a Newport. Yeah, I said she was smoking cool. 
No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of old school cigarettes. It's either Cools, Winston's, Camels, Vice Royce. It's one of them old school cigarettes. You know, Virginia Slim. My mom used to smoke Virginia Slim. My mom used to smoke Virginia Slim. Okay, Virginia Slim. And my dad used to smoke Benson Classy. and Hedges menthol. What, what was it? Because I used to have to go to the store to get them. It was Benson you know, and Hedges menthol deluxe, menthol deluxe in the box. I we used to call like them bitches and hoes. Oh, you gotta get some granny some bitches and hoes. <laughs> yeah, because they would sell the kids the cigarettes for the parents. Like, you gotta get your granny. Oh my god! Yeah, I, back then you could go into the store and get as a kid. I used to buy my parents cigarettes all the time. Neither one of them smoke anymore now, but they did. Everybody in my family smoked. Grandparents, aunts, uncles, older cut all everybody smoked cigarettes. Was a thing. Yeah. Was a you know, it was always cigarettes and uh, ashtrays everywhere. So, and, but I never got into the cigarettes. I never, me and my sister didn't get into smoking cigarettes. But, um, yeah, Paul Mall, they, that was another one. My grandfather used to smoke them, yeah. So, mm -hmm. but that's what that's what her, his um, the Wanda mother doing because you mm -hmm. know, it seemed like uh, really Lucille is more the mama than her own mother. So, but right. So yeah, she could go on the trying to parent both of them, Wanda and her son. Right. A mess, a mess, a mess. All right, y'all. Well, let me see. Where my little thing at? Well, everybody, <laughs> thank y'all for um, you know, coming through. Okay. And we appreciate y'all. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. And I'm sure this crew gonna get back together again because we're gonna probably find some other crazy true story like this. You know, we'll find some more. Yes. There's plenty of them out there. So and we'll take suggestions too. So thanks Maybe for coming through. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> May December. Yeah, May December. Like, I'm gonna yeah, check May that December. out. Maybe, maybe we might talk about it. Yeah. So thanks for coming through, y'all. See y'all next yes. time. Ooh. No finger, 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 no